Digital Performer is a product of the Mark of the Unicorn Company, and I am in no way associated with Mark of the Unicorn. Okay, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about automation. Every parameter within Digital Performer can be automated, whether it be a knob, a slider, a button, a switch, a plug-in, anything. Anything within Digital Performer can be automated as far as uh, you know controlling the audio's you know volume having it go off and on equalization whatever parameters are within the particular plugin all of them can be automated okay right here is some automation controller data right here okay well what this does is this is controlling the reverb input off of off of an auxiliary send okay this is a send coming off one of my vocal tracks going into an auxiliary channel that has altiverb on it. And what I do is I, I utilize two different reverbs and I've went over this on another tutorial. And what basically happens is when I'm performing this part the room is getting bigger at that point. Actually it's getting more of a uh, a longer reverb time because what's going on is I have on the the primary reverb here on this track is a short reverb time for intelligibility reasons and then once I get to this point right in here of the song where this file starts where the energy of the song increases I'm taking the send and I'm automating this volume from the auxiliary send into into altiverb into that actual second auxiliary channel so what's going on to make things more simple in layman speak is I have two reverbs set up one will be a shorter time that you're hearing here and then this is the controller data here for this audio here that will play that audio with a larger room on top of it um, it it works real well, but as far as automation is concerned, any plugin can be automated too. Uh, we can go here to Altiverb, just say for instance. We can launch Altiverb, and up on this little tab right here, this little A right here, okay, that's automation. Okay, you can click it, and you can say record. Okay, now it's in record mode. When it turns yellow, it's in record mode. So now you're recording the controller information from the knobs or any of the knobs that you're moving in Altiverb. If you, you know, if you happen to change the size or if you hit the reverse switch or, you know, you're going into stage positioning or damping and gains, any of these knobs can be controlled with automation. So I'll give you an example of how that works. I'll start the sequence and then I'll turn the knob okay. so let me zoom out go over here to the auxiliary channel that Altiverb is on and you'll see the, the controller data that was drawn in right here all this data right here was drawn in when I moved the knob in Altiverb it drew this on this auxiliary track here within for altiverb so if I go here it's gonna say insert a altiverb reverb time so now we see the data okay so any parameter that's on a plugin can be automated within digital performer um, you can do some really interesting effects and um, you know have a lot of control by doing this um, you know it, the thing the thing of it is um, you know be it, it you don't want to get too thick with your controller data you know because it'll bog down your sequencer but be subjective with it and only control the things that really needed to be you know that need to be controlled and uh, you'll you'll get good results from it but um, like I was saying you know instead of controlling the reverb time on actual on the actual plugin sometimes it's smoother and better just to have another reverb on another auxiliary channel and use your sends from your vocal track 
and boost them amounts or mute you can also mute you can go to the channel and mute that track I'll show you here you can mute it if you come up here you see on this channel you see a mute switch well I could send that controller data too to it I like to draw my data in that way I have more control over the amount of the send going into it for each particular part so I just kind of draw my curves in where I need them if I want a ramp I can have a ramp um, you know the sky's the limit